That GTR is fat. Oh my God. In the event that you happen to miss our first Hoonigan Digital SWAT meet on our eBay Motors page, guess what? You're in luck because we got another one coming up here and we got a whole new batch of parts that we're gonna be offering you on the low. I'm talking dirt cheap, baby. Here's what's up. July 15th through 24th, we're gonna be auctioning off all sorts of parts so we can use that money to dump back into our already ridiculous builds that we're doing on Hoonigan Project Garage. What kind of parts are we offering, you may ask? Things like this and this. How about this? Even this? So click the link below to head on over to the Hoonigan eBay Motors page and check out all the stuff we've got up for grabs. But hurry, because somebody's probably gonna buy it before you. This was that. In Australia. Brought to you by... NOS Energy Drink. That's right, we're here, Cootamundra Airport. We got Andrew Hawkins with us. What's up? The Cootamundra Conqueror. That's, That's right. right. The GTR grandfather. Yeah, apparently I used to be the mayor of this town according to Wikipedia, but not anymore. So, you know, but if I'm here, you know what that means, right? GTR pal, baby. He said T. If you're here, uh huh, and you're here, what's the fan club doing? They're watching right now. All right. <laughs> we got some heat for you. Let's go check it out. With probably one of the most unique builds that we've had on this Australian series. Who are you? What'd you bring here? Frank, Mr. Heli. Got a 1985 Datsun 1200 U with a R35 GDR swap motor. Fast, tight. God damn it. <laughs> this is a R35 GTR V6. That is correct. Twin yes. turbo? We got rid of the twin turbo setup and we have a uh, rear mount turbo charger. All right, we'll get to that in a sec. How the hell did you fit this in here? Long story short, did a few measurements, realized that the R35 GDR strut towers are really close. Top to bottom, side to side, went, yep, this is gonna fit. Well, I guess because it's six cylinder, so it's only three cylinders long. Correct. So it makes uh, 654 horsepower at the wheels. It's a stock straight out of an R35 GDR. 100% stock. Yeah, so we've even got the wreckers. No way. Yeah, so 59,000 Ks. Wow. So, I mean, beautiful engine bay, but you, you said that there's a turbo in the back. We have to go look at it. Let's go and have a look. All right, yeah, so this is uh, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what is this turbo? Borg Warner 76 mil turbocharger. It was a little bit tight. <laughs> because this car is actually street registered. So the best thing was to put it in the back. We've seen this before on like diesels. So this yeah. is insane. And Thank then you. obviously these are not nitrous tanks. This is fuel. Correct. The initial build was we wanted to hide everything, put it underneath the tray and have a clean bed. Yeah. Didn't kind of happen that way. Had to put the fuels on top and decided to make it a feature and not try and hide it. And then we got some really big tubs here. What rear end and what's the wheel and tire setup? 17 by 12, 28, 11 and a half, Mickey Thompson. Ford nine inch. Ford nine inch, uh, wheel wood brakes, strange axles and uh, diff center. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe just the size of things that you've put <laughs> in this truck. It's truly, it's insane. Can we Thank take a look you. at the interior? Absolutely. And again, interior looks beautiful. Thank I mean, you. really nice fit and finish on everything. I love the Haltech dash in the OEM dash. <laughs> yeah, but so uh, tell us what else you got going on in this. I wanted to keep it really clean, neat, stereo system, speakers. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and it really, like the car's really quiet. Haltech hooked us up with a uh, Nexus computer and the dash and PDM set up. Very clean, very neat is what I wanted. And I think we did that. You really fit everything into this package. Like yeah. this is the smallest vehicle ever. <laughs> and you have a six cylinder, a massive turbo, 12 inch wide wheels, stereo, like it's kind of nuts. No air conditioning though, huh? No, well there's two air conditioners. <laughs> <laughs> It's been an emotional roller coaster building the car because we originally had a uh, Mazda 3 rotor 20B. Oh, wow. And this conversion got done in three weeks. Wow. So, from something that's had literally everything changed and swapped from a different car, let's take a look at the car that is kind of stock format. Yeah, sure. 
Y'all wanna talk some brake pads? Let's talk some brake pads. Here we have the Hawk Performance Ceramic Pads, the ultimate in noise and dust control. Next, we got the Hawk HPS 5.0, higher temp range, less dust, and less noise. Right here is the Hawk Performance Street Pad, an entry-level brake pad for the everyday commuter. You hear that? You hear that? You won't hear that from these bad boys, and I'll tell you why. Superior performance for safer stopping in all daily driving conditions, such as mountain driving, highway commuting, stop and go city driving if you're just casually driving through the city, an inexpensive way to upgrade your brake pads without having to upgrade your brake kit. Click the link below to find the perfect street pad for your car. We've seen a lot of GTRs down here, but this man has quite possibly one of the fastest GTRs, sir. Tell them who you are. Hey, my name's Ben from B2R Motorsport. This is actually our customer's car, Owen. He lives up in Queensland and he sends a car back and forth to us to get mods done. It's kind of a partnership we have between him, you know? He loves the car and he enjoys GTRs as much as we do. Nice, now what separates this from the field that we've seen previously? This is what I like to think of as an ultimate street car, you know? You can jump in it, drive it like a factory car, but it's got the best of the best. It's got- you Wanna show us? Yeah. Wow. You got a lot going on down here, so you yeah. want to just explain? So this is one of our cast block setups. We still use a factory RB30 setup and we modify it uh, to suit. It's running one of our um, Aviad dry sump kits, Ross balancer, Ross trigger kit, one of our custom spec heads and camshafts. It's running a Precision 8085 turbocharger, full link ECU package, just got ID injectors, ID fuel pump, ID pump controller, just pretty much all the best of the best gear we could fit in it. Now I notice a lot of GTRs that are fast, fast run the mechanical fuel pump, yep. but what do you have going on that separates this to make it this, and how much power does this make? On kill, this car makes a little over 1600. Um, Say that again. Once the billet block goes in, we'll be turning it up from there. That's kind of where we stop at the car's block. Now is that with or without nitrous? With nitrous, yeah. Okay, now that we've seen the engine, yep. let's move on to the wheels and tires yep. and see what keeps the sticky bad boy on the sticky bad boys. Yep. <laughs> What wheels, tires, and everything is going on down here? Um, so it's got SSR wheels on it, and they're wrapped in Mickey Thompson ET Street R, uh, 275 4017. Super streetable tire. You don't get that birdiness. You don't get the floaty feel. You look at it from far, you won't even know that this thing's making power. Nice. Just, is that a square setup? Uh, yeah, it is. What's going on in your boot? The science experiment. <laughs> this is what I really want to see. He told me earlier he got something going on in here. I know they're cooking up something. Ain't no normal ass trunk. I can see what they're doing, what he's doing. I can see it. I feel it. Huh, man's got Donk Master Gap Sauce in here, huh? <laughs> Listen. All you gotta do is go to nitrosoutlet.com and get uh, the gap sauce. Gotta show you US boys some love. We're running obviously the nitrous outlet kit with the billet heater, the ID fuel setup, ID fuel filter, and ID fuel pump controller. And like you were saying before, that's why this car doesn't need a mechanical pump. So I know these will make a little over 2,000 on brushless. Why would you go through you know, all the effort of putting a mechanical in there? Just, it works. Turn the key, start the car, go race. What is this you got in the corner? Uh, this is our dry sum tank. Uh, so all fabbed in house. That's just our catch can. We got a diff breather back there for the Hollinger nine inch. Um, it's got a billet nine inch. Jesus, at this point, I might just send you my GTR. I think that would be a great idea. Now you got this style and profile and car on the inside. I need to see what's holding all of you boys in. Yep. Either crazy comfort or a crazy cage. I know it's gotta be one of the two. explain what's going on in here sir yeah so I think Nissan got most of the basics right so there was no need to change it it's running stock seats stock interior stock steering wheel pretty much all we've added is a dash to show him all the vitals you know your oil pressure fuel pressure RPM all the stuff you really need when racing it um, obviously the biggest thing that stands out is the shifter it's got a Samsona's RS90 five-speed in it and this is what controls that bad boy so it's full closed loop through the ECU and he just got to pull it and it'll do everything else. So is this mainly made for drag racing or can you time attack this as well? With the dry sump, we do have the oil capacity to actually, you know, take this car to time attack, but he's mainly street racing and uh, roll racing. Shoot, you've shown us this fabulous car. It's hopefully it moves like it looks. You think you can take on that today? We'll see how we go. All right, let's head out. All right, easy. My prediction is easy. R32 GTR, baby. You know what? I'm actually gonna bet on the GTR this time. All-wheel drive, four slicks, sequential gearbox. Gotta go with the GDR. Yeah.
I'm gonna throw a little monkey in the wrench and I'm gonna go with the red rocket of a VR38 swap because everybody picked a 32 and I just wanna go against the system. Oh my god! That little thing is fing pissed! set this up because this shit ain't funny whoa yeah, that gtr is fast yeah terrifying fast yes they're all fast yes Seems everything like here is snappy and responsive i just... told you that mine would be the entry level gtr at 1100 buzz, and buzz. there are others would just be you know the next so one. do we think the truck's going to be able to hook up or get any bit closer it actually hooked up better than i thought it would already like yeah, yeah. but i mean dude it's it's like halfway through the track he's just yeah should it, we just do a roll i think we should do a roll All right, so obviously you're mopping up, okay? This is a very fast car. We yeah. see that. He even said it was much faster than his car. So this yeah. is, yeah. It's free, right? Here's the thing. <laughs> we are running out of light today. Yeah. Are you cool with giving him two cars? Whatever he wants. How many cars did you beat him by? I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Finish first gear, focus on riding the clutch. Once I was out of that, I'll just focus on pulling the gears. Three cars? You think three? I think okay, so I, advance I, him I three. I think five, to be honest, but... Yeah. Whatever you guys reckon, man. We can move him forward one and then move you back on the... Yep. yep. Let's do that. Okay. That good. Cool. Alright, so you're gonna get three cars. Three cars. Three cars. Damn! Yeah, you're gonna stop me where I need to stop? Absolutely. Okay. Round two. Nothing's gonna beat that GTR. That, that thing is so fast. Did you see that? Bro, it was in fourth gear by the time it hit the pavement chain. What the heck is Andrew, what, that? Andrew, what thing? the f do y'all got in y'all cars down That's here? That's just Aussie GTR power. I keep trying to explain it to you guys. How many? There we go. There we go. GTR takes it home. Yeah, this thing's stupid fast. Real stupid fast. Hey, well done, sir. Yeah. I told him about Aussie GTR power. You just backed it up. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thanks yeah. for bringing this out. Yeah. <laughs>